good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and it's the start of a new week for me at a new time. And finally, it's here today, we're looking at the new Swarm Woodwind Instruments. Specifically, the saxophones. But, as always, we kick off the show every and each day with some music by somebody from within the community, and this is I Have an Idea, Human Code. Boom. I have an idea. Sick, yeah? Heavier than a full set of balls filled with lead. Evil stuff. <laughs> uh, so that's called Human Code. And head over to his YouTube channel and check him out because he's really cool. Yeah? Um, good stuff. What a way to open the week. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, did you know we have a Facebook page? It is um, right there. It is uh, We All Rise Together. 
is the name of the group. Um, also, you can like, share, and subscribe this channel on the YouTube here at uh, youtube.com slash Jade Star. Or if you are watching over on the Twitch, hello to you, which is at twitch.tv slash how to on iOS. Plus, you can become a patron just there at patreon.com slash Jade Star, where every weekend we give away apps and I master your music for shits and giggles. Hey, 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 hope you're all doing good and fine and dandy. Let's say hello to the folks who are in the chat today. Audible video, Thomas Christ, of course it is. Doctor's Orders. Uh, good to see you, Doctor's Orders. Saga Kadabra is here. Oh my God, hello, Saga Kadabra. I hope you're doing really, really well. I hope you're healing good. So good to see you here. What a perfect day to come back because we got a bit of sexy times. Um... Always good to see you. Kim Harden Hudson, hello. Paying to get. Ching. And uh, who else is here? As I scroll down, Russ8889, hello to you. Hello to Sai. Always even good to see you. Hello to, 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 to Andy Goldsby, good day, my friend. Gary Hobbs, pizza is on the way. Be jammed since birth. Hello to you. Yes, saxes are my favorite too. Everybody's been waiting for the saxes and we have to wait no longer. Wolfstone Studio is on the road. On the road again. I'm down waiting to get back on the road again. Yeah. Uh, don't know what's going on there, but it's all good. Um, who else is here? As I scroll, I think I saw Patrick Chandler who became a... a th no? No, it's your brother, I think. Was it you or your brother? It's one of you became a patron last night and I haven't checked. I haven't checked. Who was it? It was you, Patrick. Patrick became a patron last night. Welcome aboard, Patrick. Good to know you're going to be joining us on the weekend for the fun and frivolity that is mastering the, the Muzak. The Muzak. Joe Glenn is here as well. Hello, Joe Glenn. Um, it's going to be good times this week because we've got our 50th interview, just to let you know, on the channel, which is with uh, SM Borthwick. So it's going to be a good time. Hang in for that. Speaking of metal... I'm just going to do this, good, good, oh, quick search, KTH, Metal Shack, because did you know Kev Hart, who is the other half of uh, Desea, has been releasing uh, these videos on how uh, his process has been making the music for Desea. And he, I think he just dropped this. From riffs to release. Kev here. Um, so, do yourself a favor. Metal Shack, um, the Seer. Do yourself a favor and head over to KTH Metal Shack and go and check out his process to make killer metal because he makes some of the best metal going around on his iPad. And uh, really, 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 you'll get a shitload from his videos. Trust me on that. So I thought I'd throw that out there. Let's jump over and have a look at any price drops that are happening. Because you know what? Halloween sales have been on. And I'm sure there's going to be more sales coming up because uh, we have, uh, you know, that thing that happens in November. You know, that thing where everybody kills each other for the uh, prices and stuff. And, you know, they buy a TV that they don't need. So price drops. Uh, mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. Don't even know what that is, but it's on sale. Talkworks by Four Pockets is down from seven ninety nine to five ninety nine. dollars um, All of the Chimatic apps are on sale at the moment, so definitely if you haven't got any of these, like AU, AU3FX, Sector, AU3FX Space, um, AUM, if you don't have AUM, now is the time to get it at $14.99, $14.99, now for $20.99. So lots of sales there. Digisticks 2 is like 3 bucks off as well. Audio Share, if you don't have it, you can get it for $2.99. Man, Elliot Gage, all his apps are on sale at the moment too. All sick. Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that is on sale. I think it's only for a very short time because it's for Halloween and pretty much Halloween's over here in Australia. So do that and stuff. But we are here today to talk about the Swarm apps that have finally dropped. Yes, the Swarm woodwinds are here. And I'm going to be doing three shows on them. Uh, even though there are four packs available. Uh, four packs. Hello, Sean Chandler. Welcome aboard. The brothers are in the house. Hello, Barry Glenn. Um, so these have dropped in. Uh, let's go over to the, the app store. Show you. Now, I wasn't able to get the prices of the bundles because I'm here in Australia. So the bundles are a hell of a lot more expensive here. So maybe if one of my moderators... 
can have a look for me. Uh, Swarm Woodwind. See if we can find out that. Oh my god, really? Um, let's just do audio modeling. Modeling. Because we'll run through the prices. So here's audio modeling. And as you can see, um, we'll go full screen. They are available in bundles as well. So they're all on sale at the moment too. I'm not exactly sure for how long they're on sale for. But uh, US, they normally each one is normally worth $29.99. I know, super expensive. But guess what? They're not Pokemon. You don't need all of them. The best thing, that's why I'm trying to do these shows. So you can see what works for you and you can spend your hard-earned cash on these and make the best informed decision so uh, they are and they're on sale all of them now individually for 19.99 us so 10 bucks off each of them and i think uh, the double reads is around 50 something and the bundles are 84 so you do get a, a little bit of a uh, you know a little bit of a, a treat for that so you've got the Clarinex bundle has two apps in it. Uh, you've got the Double Reeds, which has a oboe, bassoon, contra bassoon, English horn. You've got the Flutes bundle, which has a Swamp Piccolo, an alto flute, a flute, a bass flute. And today we're looking at the Saxophone bundle, which has the Soprano sax, the alto sax, tenor sax, and baritone sax. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. And I'm going to be looking at different ways that you can use them, all right, that you can play them over each of the three shows. So today I'm just going to be using them using my Arturia Key Step 37 with a uh, foot pedal for the expression. And then I'm going to jump on guitar and show you how to play them using guitar. And tomorrow we'll show you a few different methods because there's a whole lot of different ways you can play these to get the expression out of them, yeah? Okie dokie, Smokey, are we good to go? Because I'm excited uh, to, let's, uh, which one should we start with? I think we'll do the, we've got the alto sax to kick off. And to show you, let's go a split screen here with a desk cam. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. So um, let's give you a little bit of a look, see at what I'm using. So I've just got, my keyboard here, and down on the floor, if I can get my shit together, I'm using this. I'm using my iRig I Stomp IO for the expression pedal that's on it. And it's just connected via a MIDI, yeah? Because I don't have an MPE or anything like that. Because I'm not made of money, you know? So you make do and you create ways to get around everything. So, what I have done is I've gone in, and you can map all of the, uh, so before we do anything else here, you can actually map whatever you want, uh, you, so you can map a keyboard to any of these knobs on, on here. So I can see this growl here, I can actually map this to my keyboard. We'll go split again and show you. Up the top here, there's a little MIDI button, and when I click that, you'll notice all the buttons change color. All the buttons change color. And uh, these ones, these colors here, they simplify that I've actually mapped a key to that. Hello, Gortium. Welcome to you. Thank you for the nice words on yesterday's spooky metal show. Um, so this one's already mapped. And you can go on anything that has a color, you can go and map it. Uh, do I see Mars? Mars Capone, hello to you. So let's just map this one again. So I'm just going to click on it. Right? And now I can unassign it up the top. Go full screen so you can see what I'm doing. It's a bit bright up there. But if I hold down this learn button here, now I can head over to my keyboard and turn this knob. And look at that. I'm now controlling that with this knob. So that's the growl button. So now down here, you can see that this little growl button is assigned. You can go and do this for all the knobs across. You can set all your knobs up. You can get all your knobs in a row. Everyone loves playing with knobs. And you can do the same thing. So I could go in here to the breath noise if I want. So I hit MIDI, go into the breath noise, hit learn up the top. And I can choose the second knob on my keyboard. That's done. And I could go over here to the key noise if I wanted to. And we'll set this one up, hit learn. 
And now that's set up. So the f these knobs across here are all set up to control parts of the expression. Pretty sweet, yeah? It's, it's that easy to do. So now that we are back at, in the main screen here, now I showed you my, my, um, my iRig Pro, and when I put my foot on the pedal, you can see, see the expressions moving? So now I have full control over the expression of the saxophone. So if I pull it right back with my foot and hit a key, you can just hear the light blowing. And I'm also controlling the vibrato, which is over here, of course, using the vibrato here on my keyboard. So I can also control the pitch bend. So you can see I'm controlling that. So I've got full control over everything going on here to really get that, you know, ultra realistic sound. And the other great thing about these apps, before we go on, is they are 85 megabytes download. 80, not... 85, not even 100 meg. These things take up absolutely zero space virtually on your iPad. You know, this is why the price is so high. And uh, I, I know there's going to be people out there, there always is, they're saying, but it's so expensive. The technology that makes up this, it's second to none. What they, How they model this is just unbelievable. And you'll see by me pressing the keys here as well, I'll just go over to my keyboard. If I touch that really lightly on my keys, you can see the velocity is uh, moving up here as well. So over here. So it's very clever stuff. Shall we uh, just have a quick play and hear what it sounds like with, I don't know, this? Yeah, 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 baby. Let's do that. What do you think, yeah? Yeah? Is everyone feeling sexy now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
What do you think? <laughs> Pretty effing smooth, man. All right. Absolutely smooth as hell. Beautiful, beautiful sounding stuff. So uh, where did I get that backing from there? Well, that I used. Uh, so remember these apps that we see all the time pop up for like on sale for two bucks? Yeah. And it's like, what are those things? I just use Session Jazz Band for that. And Session Jazz Band is really cool to create that kind of great backing stuff. Because you can uh, create a backing and then remove the brass out of it and do your own. So let's get back in here and have a look. Because there's a whole lot more to what you see here. There's a whole lot of different kind of sounds in each one of them. So you can see my expression pedal is quite low at the moment. Even though the expression pedal, you can see it moving up and down there, is quite low. When I hit hard on the keys, you hear how it mutes after a short period of time? There's a fuckload of expression within these apps, yeah? So if you have a look across the controls here, you've got this breath noise here. So you can actually control the, the sound of the, the breath happening. You can pull it out, you can pull it right up and really get... You can hear that... On that read there, it's beautiful. So you've even got the key noise you can pump up. But you also have a multitude of saxophone sounds within each app, yeah? So up in the middle here, you'll notice there's a picture of a wonderful saxophone, an alto sax there. With the arrows going side to side, you can go through the sounds. Now, some of them are quite subtle and some of them are quite... Now, the one thing, um, the developers of this audio, um, that's my death metal version of their name, um, which is unintelligible, uh, suggests they really want you to use the expression because they believe that without the expression, it sounds quite flat. It's because the key to these sounds is not that they are not samples. The, the, uh, the, what they have done to actually create these depends on the actual expression and, and actually having that expression and the velocity to make it sound good. So if I just turn up the expression full and just play. So you can hear what I mean. It doesn't, it doesn't sound as rich, but if I jump on the expression pedal straight away, control the growl and the vibrato. That's when it sounds really, really, really nice. So it is all about the expression. So we'll go through a couple of more here. So there's a warm sound here. And you can hear that straight away. Straight away. So those are all the sounds. So we've got a bright. So these are all the sounds that you've got here to play with. You've got a bunch of different screens on here. So we'll go through the screens and then we'll jump in and have a listen to the rest of the other three saxophones. Good air. All right. So over in the top corner here, you've got a bunch of things, as you can see. So the express, the expressivity. 
And when you click on these, the, here's where you've got pretty much you've got these other screens that give you the option to use see see the same things that are on the front screen just in a different kind of way. So here you've got the expression. You've got your vibrato depth. Your vibrato rate, so you can change that in here as well. Your growl. Now, the one thing that's a bit disappointing is some things are locked with the iOS versions. So you've got the flutter. Unfortunately, this is blocked at the moment. So look, I, I live in hope that, uh, that these things are going to pop up and we're going to be able to use them again. Uh, well, I know on the PC versions you can, so that is a thing. So hopefully it's, they're, they're going to become optional at some stage. So you've got a play mode where keys and slide, this is on your play modes. Let me jump on my... You can change the key noise as well. So you've got a whole lot of things in here that you can mess around with yourself. You've got the, the timbre, the tombre, if you would like to call it that. So this is where you can change your instrument by sliding across the top. So a whole bunch of features within here as well. Uh, you've got m even a master tuning, so you can go in here and change the tuning to your your liking. It's completely up to you. I'm not going to mess around with this too much today. Uh, then you've got a whole bunch of advanced features, again, all locked. These are things that are open on the uh, PC versions, which is unfortunate. Uh, but not here, it looks like. But we also have access to the MIDI stuff. So your MIDI profiles, uh, you, you know, you can jump in and play with your MIDI here. But as I said, a lot of this stuff is available in other screens. So if we go back here, um, you've got some built-in effects as well. So let's jump over to the effects. I'm just going to change this sax to this warm one. Hello, Dwight Bailey. Who else have I missed who's uh, come in? Synthfidel, hello to you. Is there anyone else I've missed as well? I don't think so. If I have, yell at me. Abuse me. Rate me. So you've got some effects up here. When we open up this, you've got a compressor in here as well. Which is nice to have a compressor in there as well. You can enable the EQ. So you've got your low gain, mid, mid, high EQ. You have uh, early reflection gain. And you've got a reverb. Now, it's no black hole or anything, nothing like that, but, you know, you can get a really nice. So, there is reverb in there as well. You have a pan as well so you've got a pan left and right we can bring that back to the center you've got a gain so your master volume over here pretty basic stuff uh, let's close out of here um, now there is an option for if you don't have an external keyboard you don't have you know any of this stuff which not everybody does what uh audio modeling have offered to you is this little play section up here so when you bring this down you're given this virtual keyboard and what's fantastic about this virtual keyboard if i show you with my own hands is you can control the velocity with this by So you've got all of this built in as well if you don't have all that stuff. So as you can see, you've got your expression up here that you can move up. Plus, you can actually go in and, again, assign what you want to be on your 
up. See, at the moment when I go up and down, we have the vibrato depth, but I could actually change that by clicking over here to the vibrato and picking whatever I want. So uh, overblow, I can pick whatever I want out of there. I can pick a growl instead. So now... And the same with left and right. So it's set for pitch bend and you can... The other thing that's really cool is there's a fall down in here, yeah? So if you don't know what a fall down is, it's like uh, when you hold a note with a, a, like a brass or a woodwind instrument, it, uh, it'll, it'll tumble and be like a... Hear that? Plus you've got an alternative fingering method in here. So pretty good. You've got an overblow too. So you haven't been left out of the picture if you don't have an external keyboard or anything like that, which is really good for if you're using this in GarageBand or something like that, then you have the full power to go and use all of the expression that makes it such a real sounding app. Uh, and while you're in this screen, so this is this is a whole different screen, yeah? So you hit this play up here to go in here, and you have also have access to uh, the MIDI features here. Uh, so it, again, you can choose your different sounds of sax from over here as well. Whee! <laughs> So these presets offer you uh, a different EQs and such. So you've got like a pop sound. Then you've got a rock one. And you can create your own from here. So you've got a user section. So you can go in and create your own stuff as well. Nice, easy set out and if we close this, jump over to play, the uh, final section here, that is the user section, there we go, and our MIDI section. Plus, as I showed you at the beginning of the show, you have this MIDI section here where you can map your keys. So nice and easy to map keys. You can transpose very easily mm -hmm. as well with down the bottom here. You see you've got this little transpose section. You could actually move this down. <laughs> So nice and easy to transpose, and you can go all the way down. And you can go all the way up 12. Uh, let's go this way, down, 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 here we go. Sweet. Or you can bring it right back to where it was at zero. So nice, easy controls. It shouldn't be uh, too taxing for anybody. Wonderful stuff in here, which we're going to cover over the next couple of shows, is the little uh, three dots up here in the corner is where you can save and load uh, sounds and all that kind of stuff. You can reset. You've got controller mapping here. So when I click on this, you can assign and learn from here. Uh, MIDI mapping, you can import mappings from files, which is really ace. There's a whole lot of stuff in here. Par paramo parameter. <laughs> okay, now, this is where everything's locked and I want to get into everything. Uh, so you've got settings here as well with your options. You can uh, choose your MIDI devices from here. Uh, where are we? Options. It is really, really, really deep. Let me just jump in here controller mapping god where is it assign and learn is that that's your, see as, as you can see i just got back to this section here uh from within another menu yeah now here's what's really cool you've got a whole bunch of mapping presets and this will go through in uh some some of the next two shows 
how to use set up your mp3 and people you might have breath control devices you know there are a whole bunch of those you've got mp mpe devices uh touches all these things so you can actually just choose one of these for that particular device and it will automatically map this is where you go to to map to something like geo shred and we'll also look at uh, one of the next two shows how to set this up to use with uh, the app i used last week with uh, mono leap we'll use it with geo shred so you can use it with a whole bunch of other apps very very easily uh, they they make it very very easy to use this however you want the easiest way for you okay so that is uh the first of the uh the saxophones let's jump out shall we we'll just go back in here one sec and go back to the alto sax so that was the alto sax there are four in here this is the whole collection. I mean, it's a big collection of stuff. And you can see they're all color-coded too to let you know which packs are which. So that was the Alto. Let's jump in and have a look at the tenor sax, shall we? Now, I need to remember this. I can't have both of them open at once because it'll sound ridiculous. Uh, let's close the Alto and go into the tenor sax and see what's going on. Now, once again, I'm going to have to map this to make sure the expression pedal's working. So the expression pedal's working straight away. Uh, hello, Stephen Hewitt. Uh, I'm going to jump into the MIDI here. I'm going to set this growl and hit... Uh, is it already set? Oh, look, it's already set. How cool is that? It remembered across... Uh, did it remember all of them? No, it didn't. But that's all right. So everything's all been remembered. So I can jump straight in. Let's see, can I open up something like, uh, let's choose something random from this uh, jazz app that I can play along with, because what else really goes well with the sax? Um, what do we got here? Um, session, band, jazz, let's try jazz, uh, three or two, I don't know, we'll try um, number two, maybe, let's see what I can find uh, in here. Um, this wasn't the one I had open. It was this one, maybe. This one, maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh. Now, what's good about this, I can go into the settings here and straight away mute the sax that is provided. Oh, yeah.
That <laughs> suck, man. <laughs> it is terrible. Fuck you, Russ. <laughs> For those who don't know, I can't play keyboard. <laughs> but you do your best. Uh, there you go. So, sounds beautiful. It's just... Uh, shall we leave that playing or shall I just stop this? We'll stop the music. Uh, let's stop that. There you go. I love those apps for just just for playing like uh, backing stuff. Absolutely wonderful. Let's jump back in to our uh, was was it this one we're in? Yeah, cool. Uh, next up, I'll be doing some Beatles for Russ. So once again, you can go through these. And you can hear just clicking between those two. So definitely much, much brighter, yeah? Definitely very cool. So there's your tenor sax. Are the session band apps any good? I think they look good for like playing along to and jamming and coming up with ideas. Um, you can export the, the music as WAV files. So when they're on sale, yeah, definitely. I would check them out if something to jam along with. Definitely for something like that. I wouldn't expect to make too much music with them, but uh, such is life. Uh, let's jump in and have a look at an, uh, another one here. I'll shut out of this. Man, iPad, what are you doing today? Flicking around like crazy. Too many apps on the front screen here. So we've got the baritone sax as well. And it should be all mapped as again. And it's not mapped this time. So we can go in here and map this one out. Hit learn. And this would be better. There we go. So that's learnt now. So we've got our growl control set. The expression is set as well. This is our baritone. Turn down that growl. So we can get pretty low here, yeah? Hey, what's going on, metalhead hippie? Shall we try and throw in uh, some random music from this uh, stupid, from this thing? I called it stupid. I didn't mean that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what about a medium swing? <laughs> a major, I don't know. Let's uh, <laughs> remove this. See how we go. Just, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. little bit of uh <laughs> where are we baritone we need some uh reverb on this yeah Thank you. 
Man, they sound beautiful. I know, it was only yesterday I was covered in corpse paint, screaming my guts up, threatening to bite people's heads off. (laughs) (laughs) Oh dear. All right, so that's a little bit of the, uh, hey, what's going on at Rock Heart Music? I'm making a fool of myself with this shit. What am I doing? All right, so we'll have a look at the last one here, so you're getting a good idea of what's going on. So we've got the soprano is last. Hey, Tony, it's the Sopranos. Alrighty, uh, <laughs> what have we got? So let's run through some of these sounds here. Well, that's the that's the thing, um, uh, Mars Capone. You can actually go in. So you can go in and you actually can change. Where was it? Is it in the advance? It is the pitch bend. No, it was in here, isn't it? No, I can't remember where it was. Play modes. I got my glasses. Is it the expressivity? So you can change the vibrato rate. So you can actually bring the rate down. So you can mess with it in here. <laughs> That's a bit extreme. Um, it's when you, I think, yeah. So when you, when it's set at four point seven. So that's the standard one. Um, So you can hear with this one, this warm one, you can actually hear the breath more. If we go back. Let's pull out that expression. I like the warm ones, these ones. Gonna go in and add some effects. And let's finish off today by <laughs> trying to jam along with something else. Let me make an ass of myself one more time. One more time, baby, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what else is in here to make a dick of myself with? Um, I've got a shuffle, Afro Jazz. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What's some Afro Jazz? Uh, <laughs> God, God, man. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? (laughs) No idea, man.
fucking hell. <laughs> I think I've made a cock out of myself enough for today. <laughs> you, know <what? laughs> you know what? It's all about having fun, isn't it? Because uh, these things are great fun. You know, and uh, let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. You can sound actually not too bad. I, you know, I'm going to go back to this thing that I started with. <laughs> I really should do that. Because you can open up. Uh, let's do that quickly before we go. Open up AUM. Just remember, these sound incredible um, with effects on them. You can really add some berserk effects to these as well. Um, a swarm. I forget which one I was playing then. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Just go with this one, yeah.
Oh yeah, baby! That's right. Show me your dirty ass. Oh yeah! Your dirty ass. I wonder what it sounds like with, with, uh, with uh, something like a rim de gear. Pretty damn sick, yeah? Awesome. Good stuff. These apps are killer. Tomorrow we are going to be looking at the flutes. <coughs> and you know what I didn't cover? Um, is Pete Johns on today? Has Pete got a show? Or is he on? What time is he on? Does anybody know? Tom, do you know what time Pete's on? I hope he's not on like right now. I haven't cut into his. Uh, he's on at 10. All right. Well, what I will do, because uh, I, I did say I was going to do this today. So let's just do this quickly before we go. Um, we shall remove this. Uh, remove that. Remove this. Remove all that stuff. Uh, I'll open this back up here. Actually, I won't. We'll do this. I want to show you this before we go. So I'm just going to quickly open up. Um... Where are we? Uh, MIDI. I'm just going to quickly open up MIDI guitar, yeah? Just going to grab my guitar. So I have my guitar in hand. Grab a pick. Because what's another thing that's really good about this is there are alternate ways to use this. So I'm going to go in here. We're in MIDI guitar. I'm going to choose an instrument from up here. And I can go down and search for the Swarm instruments. Um, where are we? Swarm. So let's grab the tenor sax. So now the tenor sax is loaded into here, and I've got my gu guitar connected. How cool is this? Oh, I'll point my camera down a little bit so you can see my guitar is actually connected, yeah? And I can go in here and change the bends, right? So we can give it expression. I can turn on here. We can turn on aftertouch as well. So now... So yes, you can. How good is this? So if you don't have a keyboard... And it's actually using the expression as well, too. So when I play lightly. Compared to picking hard. <laughs> and 
And you want to turn this to monophonic as well to get the best out of the guitar. And you can actually go in to the app from within MIDI guitar as well, because MIDI guitar is sick. Uh, so you can control the expression within here as well. We can, uh, it never lets me close out of it for some reason. So you can actually go into the effects in here as well and add your own effects, so, which is really cool. And, and you, what's another really cool about MIDI guitar is you can go in and you can choose something like Black Hole within here. <laughs> Now I've got the guitar coming through as well. How cool is that? <laughs> um, so let's remove. And you saw how easy it was for me to set up. It took a second. I basically just, you know, chose it from the instrument here and just changed the pitch stuff. So I added the bends, made sure that the audio device that my guitar was plugged in was the iRig Pro Duo 2. You can change your buffer size, your sample rate. You can change the tuning, make it monophonic. Yeah, so, and you can actually change the velocity here to make sure that it's picking up. But we're doing pretty good as it is. What do you think? Pretty cool, yeah? So, in closing, this by audio modeling charge so much. Now, it's really, it's not a lot, man. It's not a lot, really. They're on sale for 20 bucks at the moment, but they're... Ooh. You're seeing my amazing Mr. Bungle t-shirt. Yeah, there we go. Let's bring that back up. Oh, um, yeah. So this is why uh, there's these apps cost a lot. There's a lot of work gone into these to make them sound so pro. And as I said at the beginning, I'm going to reiterate, like I say, every time, they're not Pokemon. You don't need all of them. It's, that's why I'm going to try and provide these shows so you can find the one that's going to suit you the most. Plus, people over on the Patreon... I will have a whole lot of these to give away this weekend for $5 and above Patreon. So make sure you are there for that and you enter when I put the, the posts up on Patreon. Because, again, once again, the kind folks at Audio Modeling have provided me a bunch of codes to give away for this. And it's going to be really cool because you'll get to pick the winners. We'll get to pick whichever one they like. Yes. Happy days. All righty. That'll do it for today. Uh, what did Dr... What the, Next week, Jay plays drums, the flute with a drum. I'm, I will. I'll do it all, man. I'll do it all. I'm going to grow another arm out of my head. Yes. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for hanging out today. Tomorrow's the flutes. It's going to sound lovely. I hope to see you tomorrow. As always, hit the like button, please. It does good, mate. It does good. It means I won't kill my grandmother out the back. What the hell was that all about? Uh... <laughs> Please do so. Help support the channel. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Remember, do the things that make you happy. Make mistakes that make you better. And we all rise together. And I will see you all tomorrow on the next one for some flu. <laughs>